That is right, ladies and gentlemen, the members have voted. We did a poll on the channel for channel members. They voted to have double Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. every week and double Star Wars Rebels every week, but no more Agent Carter or Jessica Jones early reactions. So Jessica Jones and Agent Carter will still be coming out every Sunday and Monday. There just won't be early access episodes to those two shows for members, but every Wednesday uh, we'll be getting two Star Wars Rebels episodes and every Saturday two Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.s and early access to both those shows. So two more episodes are up for members right now by the time this goes public. So yeah, that's exciting. Thank you to the members that voted. I think it should be a good change just because Jessica Jones and Carter are really short shows anyways. So I'm gonna get through them pretty quick even if they don't have early access episodes up. But uh, these shows both getting two episode reactions every week is gonna go by a lot quicker. I was calculating how long it would take as one episode of, at a time for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and this show and it would just be like, a few years so and i'm enjoying both those shows so much anyways they're my favorite right now rebels and agents of shield so watching double every week i'm happy with it but anyways welcome back to more star wars rebels we're just gonna hop right into this episode since i just talked for all that time leave a like on the video if you are enjoying rebels on the channel become a member if you want to watch the next two episodes right now usually up at the same time as this goes public seven days early but sometimes i am late and they are up six days early so that can happen but yeah let's hop into rebels let's go I like it when the TIE Fighters pass over at the beginning. The subtitles just say jet engine scream. Totally jets. Are you ready to become stormtroopers? Sir, yes, sir! At ease. That is just awful. Oh gosh, yeah, they take kids. Oh, dang, Ezra's here. <laughs> oh, secret mission time. I thought we were actually just looking into how stormtroopers come to be. Hey, Dev. 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 What? Dev Morgan, you in there? Oh, yeah. Dev Morgan. I recognize that kid's voice. That's me. Wow. You must really be feeling the pressure. Sorry, Jai. I see Zuko? Is that? It is. Let's go, dude. Oh, one of my favorite voice actors. Dante Bosco, I'm pretty sure. It sounds just like him. It has to be. Those who lose will be serving Task Master Grit and wish they'd stayed at the bottom of that well. I'm taking that prize. Uh, not today, Kel. Back off, Oleg. Like. You too, Morgan. This is interesting. It reminds me a lot of the Clone Cadet episode. That just happened. Stormtroopers really have to do this? This seems more like Jedi training. Like, actually. Actually, you do do this for Jedi training a little bit in uh, Jedi Fallen Order, I remember. It's just like this. Maybe they are secretly trying to catch a Jedi here. It's impressive, perhaps too impressive. Make a note of that. Yeah. You lose, Morgan. Try, look out. Yeah, he knew. <laughs> that again? Yo, you're gonna blow your cover. They've seen a kid do that way too many times. It's too easy, Morgan. Tell you both set course records. Really? That is suspicious. Never seen a cut like that in Star Wars. Oh, is he signing to the droids? Was that Chopper? Wait, was there actually, wait, I didn't pick up on that. It is. I have his pop figure over there. I've been studying it. He's got that weird missing eye thing. It's like a little light. I didn't even realize it was Chopper at first. He's just not ready. And if he gets caught... He hasn't gotten caught so far. The minute he gets that decoder, Zeb yanks him out of there. Uh, that's the plan. I should Decoder. Oh, yeah. You'd make quite a cadet. Do they have specific training facilities? Because we never see Stormtrooper cadets just walking around. I wonder if these are, like, specified locations. One decoder as ordered. Too easy. Munchap's gonna come back. What do you think you're doing? 
figured it would be something like this. It's not what you think. I think this device has a built-in sensor, which would trigger that. You try walking out with this thing, the whole facility goes on lockdown. Wait, mm -hmm. are you trying to help me? Spectre 5 to Ghost. Something went wrong. The kid didn't get the device and he didn't come out. Copy that, Spectre 5. Give him one more day. This decoder better be worth the risk. What's the alternative? Do you want to stop that Kyber shipment or not? You know oh. what I could do with that crystal. Nothing good. It's one crystal? Kyber shipment. It's made it sound like multiple. It ain't going towards the Death Star laser, is it? Or just towards more Inquisitor sabers? What do you need that decoder for? My friends need it to stop an Imperial shipment. Then let's do it. I'm Zare, by the way. Zare Leonis. And you're dead, right? Zare Leonis. Yes. Yeah, that's me. You will need to shoot the targets to activate the panels necessary to climb out. Three, two, okay. One. Ezra, I hope you're good with the blaster. That's interesting. The training blasters shoot yellow. I feel like it would be so easy to sabotage people. Sorry, Jai. Oh, dang. There is no friendship in war. The only thing that matters is victory. Victory at any cost. Tomorrow's final trial will push all of you to your limits. The reward for success will be a training session aboard an Imperial Walker. That's cool. <laughs> I did what I had to do. No, nah, not Zuko. Oh, he's gonna go evil. I've been training to be a Jedi. Yeah, right. Who isn't? Ah, uh, that's some bad info to give, even though he seems like he's on your side. Mutton chop. Come. Sir, your pod racer parts have been delivered. If you'll just sign off here, I'll bring them up. Pod racer parts. It's been a mistake. What would I want with pod Yeah. <laughs> no mistake, sir. That's the best you can come up with? Got this. Oh. <laughs> Were you gonna sign it? Could I believe we've identified two cadets, Morgan and Kel, that meet your special criteria, Inquisitor. Oh. Commandant. Tomorrow I will arrive on Lothal to test them. <laughs> if the tests are conclusive, I will take them into custody. Oh, he like marked them as special in the training because they're not training to be stormtroopers, are they? Guys, I know you're expecting me, but I have to stay at the academy. There's this kid there, Jai Kel, and I'll get scooped up by the Inquisitor if I don't help him. Wait, the Inquisitor? Is Ezra out of you his- You probably think I've lost my mind, and you're probably <laughs> right, but it's your fault. The old man never stuck his neck <laughs> out for a stranger. Clearly, I've spent way too long with you heroes. Okay. That's real smart. He knows what he's doing. Spectre 6 isn't with us. What? Where is she? <laughs> They're already jumping. Where's Spectre 6? Kanan, we're out of range. All we can do now is complete the mission and get back as soon as possible. Dang. She was way too fast with that. <laughs> you cannot trust these kids. They want to be troopers. Tomorrow. No. No way. This is just another dirty trick. You're trying to get me busted out of the academy. Uh, yeah. But not the way you think. The Inquisitor... Please! I don't believe this Inquisitor exists. And even if he does, then maybe it's a good thing. The Inquisitor trains me. I get a top rank in the Empire. Kel, you got a family. Uh, it's just me and my mother. And how would she feel if she never saw you again? My sister disappeared from this place. And I'm betting it was the Inquisitor who took her away. Oh my gosh, I wonder if... His sister is an Inquisitor now. Or what? What does he want with them? Three of us have to win tomorrow's challenge. Not so simple. How's that gonna get us out of here? Because it gets us inside that walker. The kyber crystal resonates with the force. <laughs> it's in the middle ship. You sure? I'm sure. Oh dang. Let's take it. Jai, look out! Cadets Kel, Leonis, and Ole win the day and the prize. Not Ezra. You were supposed to be on the walker with us. Now what? Stick to the plan. We'll find a way to get on board. Okay. 
How has no one taken Chop out of here? Ooh. We're under attack. What was that? My signal. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, that poor kid. Oh, dang. That looks terrifying when they're shooting directly at you. That works. Whoever's controlling that walker is part of the attack. This is LRC-01. A rogue walker is loose in the academy. Advance and destroy. Ezra was able to create a lot of chaos very quickly in here. They're trying to blow up the ship? Yeah, they're not even going to go in there and take the kyber crystal. They're going to blow it up. Oh my gosh. Why such a big explosion? I see it. Oh, it's Game of Thrones. Look at that. Was that because of the kyber crystal exploded? They just inspire the creation of the Death Star? That was huge and green. Let me in. Look, Morgan's attempting to fight off the insurgents. Single tap. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Zeb. That was his blaster. Yep. That is a slow firing but blaster though. Oh. Thanks. Don't mention it. Chop. Why? Uh staying. What? It's the only way I'll ever find my sister. We got bucket heads in Okay. That's fine. I'll keep in touch. Pretend like you're shooting at them. Get in. Yeah. Ah, Stormtrooper aim. So good. <laughs> this is a black uh -oh. mark, Commandant. I do not know this boy. But this one, I know. This is the Padawan I encountered on Stygian Prime. That mm -hmm. is Morgan. The other was Kel. Cadet Zer Leonis here came very close to stopping the escape. He was part of the traitor's squad and knew them well. Or oh, thought no. so. How at I want to know everything about your former friends. Yeah, these Udapau people look terrifying. What even is their race called? Actually, I don't know. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't. It like faded to it this time. It wasn't a jump scare. I kind of wish the mission had more meaning this episode. Like we really got to see the results of it. Basically, I wish that they were, it was a mission to steal the kyber crystal and put it to use instead of just blowing it up. As sure the results are the Sith have one less kyber crystal or shipment of them. They said shipment, but then they kept on saying just singular kyber crystal over and over again. So I don't know. The explosion made it look like there was multiple, but I don't know. Yeah, I wish we did get to see more results from this mission as like seeing what were they going to use that crystal for in the first place. Maybe I'm right about it, the Death Star or more sabers for the uh, Inquisitors, I guess. And I know this is long before the Star is actually built, obviously, but they are still building it. We, we saw that in Andor, how long it took. This episode does seem very important for like Star Wars lore, because first off, I mean, we get to see how Stormtroopers train, which I did not think it would be anything like that. I bet the the commanders though, were very impressed by uh, Zer Leonis' shooting at the end of the episode there. He missed every single shot which is just what they're looking for so yeah the inquisitor seems very impressed but no the the that episode i feel like sets up some mystery what does the inquisitor want them for why were they marking certain ones as like over performing were they suspicious that they have a little jedi in them and that they would put them on the inquisitor program as well or what there's a lot that like opens up this episode about what the empire is up to but we don't quite get all the details so i like that I'm sure we'll, we'll see Zare again or hear about him, either dead or maybe he'll be an Inquisitor. I don't know. Probably not. Don't know exactly what they're putting them to use for, but it's kind of scary to think about, especially if he knows or finds out that he's related to his sister. She's in the Empire already. But yeah, also a very cool cameo by Dante Bosco. Every time I hear his voice, it's just either Zuko or Rufio from Hook. That's all I hear. But yeah, knowing that he was playing him, I was like, oh, look at this character's gonna have a dark path but no he was he was just a nice kid actually this kind of just like spoils it right here but the description of the episode literally says 
Um, Ezra infiltrates Lothal's Academy for Young Imperials, we knew all that, where the Empire identifies four sensitive children and indoctrinates the youths of Lothal. So yeah, they were, so I was right about that, they were marking them down as potentially being force sensitive. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So they're going with the Inquisitor for those reasons. I noticed they were all jumping very high, but I don't know if they were all force sensitive. I don't know if that was what the test was or if some of them are just gonna be stormtroopers. But yeah, anyways, good episode. Let's hop into episode seven. He's getting blasted out of the sky, part of the plan too. This episode starts so fast. <laughs> We're already That's in combat. Right. You should know better. There was Chop up there doing that? So, uh, how about teaching me some of those high flying moves? You fly my ship? <laughs> I don't know, Ezra. You really think you're ready? <laughs> Not ready. Not ready! I mean, he kind of flew that TIE fighter. He helped Zeb with it. He's a good co pilot. We'll give them that. Yo, that is a lot <laughs> that they are missing. <laughs> Yo, that auto turret on top of their ship is not doing very good. You may ask. Jeez, the type are so dumb. <laughs> Do they not know they can't fit in these areas? I've told you before, Fulcrum's intel is on a need to know basis. And I told you before, I need to know more. Uh-huh. He's gonna hit a rock. Or not. Smart. <laughs> okay. That is extremely unlucky for that guy. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. They're leaking. I kinda like how the Phantom looks like a Y-Wing almost. Like a very squished Y-Wing. It was somewhat unavoidable. Once your plan went south. Ah, there we go. Knew there had to be a way this was my fault. And right here. <laughs> Zeb, I'll need the Phantom ready to pick up the supplies from Fulcrum. <laughs> Look at that. And run a diagnostic. Chopper and Ezra will help you fix any problems you find. Sabine? She still wants to know more about the mission. If she trusts the contact, I trust the contact. No questions asked. At the Imperial Academy, they didn't want me to ask questions either. That didn't work for me. That's why I ended up here. And we're glad uh, to have you. I don't know. She trained with, with the Imperials before. I'm coming on your run to meet Fulcrum. You know, you can be pretty frustrating. Meet Fulcrum? From the best. Chopper, as soon as Ezra's out of the repair duct, purge him. <laughs> All fixed. <laughs> <laughs> His laugh. Hey! What the heck, dude? Perfect. Steering and life support are back in working order. How do they come up with this for a droid? <laughs> <laughs> Chop. Oh, jeez. The diagnostic's still running. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, actually. What a great crew. Uh-oh. They're still leaking? <laughs> I take it you finished the repairs? Uh, you were right. The steering needed fixing, which I did. Just let the kids be kids. Oh no, they're still leaking, aren't they? I'll need the rendezvous with Spectre 2. Supplies are unloaded and ready. Should I wait? Yeah, stick around. Spectre 2 and I would love to talk to you. Spectre 2, what's the problem? No problem, Fulcrum. Spectre 5 decided to help with the supply run. Understood. Fulcrum out. This person sounds like a droid, but also sounds familiar. I thought Fulcrum was a planet. Is it a person? Or that's just their code name. This is cool landing on like an asteroid belt. Your attitude. I know I didn't. Yo, they're still leaking. Trust me. We trust you, Sabine. We just can't tell you everything. It's for the safety of the whole crew. If captured, you can't reveal what you don't know. You think mm -hmm. I talk? I think we think the Imperials can make anyone yeah. what they're capable of. Yeah, I have. The heck is that? Yeah, okay, Hera and Kanan are very smart. In a world like this, they can just extract that stuff out of you. The cadet at the Imperial Academy on Mandalore. I trusted the Empire, followed its orders blindly. And it was a nightmare. Actually, in Clone Wars, when we did see your parents, because people said 
they pointed out that those were her parents in the Clone Warrior episodes. Her parents were actually there when they were extracting stuff out of, I think, Jesse, extracting info. That's kind of a cool connection point. Or maybe not both her parents, just one of them. Her mom, I don't know. I feel like we can't take down the Empire on our own. That's why I need to know this isn't all for nothing. I need to know that I am not walking into another nightmare here. What you need is faith. Trust in the Force. Yeah, I don't like what's in there. Wait, did we see this base? Looks familiar. Whoa, sunrise comes along fast in these parts. Creatures in here, it definitely doesn't like the sun. That's gonna be the, their one weakness, it's gotta be. I like all the crashed clone ships in here. Get what was inside. Too eager to just flip the latch and open them? Like yeah, the gunships. More like a what? I'm starting to have my suspicions. I see it. There's multiple. Yo, I can clearly see those. There's like three or four. All the they got mustaches. What the heck? Yo, they're just killing innocent animals. They haven't done anything to you. Yeah, sunlight. Hey. Yo, they didn't even swing at them or do anything. They just murdered like eight of them. Uh-oh. The sun goes down, they're coming out though. I don't know if they're friendly. They're, they don't look friendly. There can't be that many of them in there. You should be good. Do you see the size of that asteroid? That's going it's about to block it. For yeah. A long time. How long? I don't know. Long enough for us to become lunch. Good. Let's go. Oh yeah, they can't go. No, 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 no. We had nearly a full tank when we landed. Now we're out of fuel. Oh no. Oh my gosh, they're so dumb. Why is he still bull riding? Oh. Oh, he's gonna beat you up. You did run a full diagnostic on the Phantom, correct? Of course. And you checked the results? <laughs> uh. Yeah, they popped up right when they left. Might be a small problem with a few line. Small problem. Uh, guys, we have a situation. <laughs> oh, he's trying to meditate. Stick, you should have checked. Have to tell Kanan, but don't tell him it's our fault. Okay. Kanan. Kanan. Her and Sabine are in danger. Wow, how could you tell? Could you sense it? <laughs> no. Then was. You two yell outside the door. <laughs> no way they get here before that asteroid blocks the sun and. Doesn't matter. You guys were taking care of those things easily. There's explosive canisters right there. Set up a line of defense. I, I recognize these markings. <laughs> Yeah, explosives. Rhydonium. How many of those creatures are in there? We can set up groups of canisters and create explosions that take them out a wave at a time. They're, they they got to set up an actual tower defense. That's perfect. Perfectly spread apart. Very nice. That's really good. There's probably only like two left in there. Watch. Yo, I get behind all of them. What if they trigger each other and just I hope they spread them out far enough. They look like Kung Fu Panda creatures. Yeah, wait for a group of them before shooting the explosives. Oh, here we go. Wait for Don't hide behind the explosives. Whatever, no, they're being smart about it. Oh, why the, the explosions in Star Wars have been so colorful from Clone Wars till this. Yo, they're actually making this whole alien species become extinct. Light it up. <laughs> Dang. It's so pretty. Not Start shooting. Why not just Okay, yeah, yeah, that's smart, that's smart. <laughs> I, I just noticed this is the first time we're seeing Hera fight too. I'm not feeling I'm not feeling like you guys are gonna die. Personally, these things seem weak. They haven't even landed a scratch. A little bit of light. That should scare them. 
<laughs> this is all Ezra and Zeb's fault. Oh, that light doesn't hurt them. It's not UV. I like how it actually tested it. Oh, slingshot is super effective. I got your back. These guys aren't so tough. <laughs> Get out of here, Ezra. How is no one else helping? <laughs> There's like five people right there with guns. There you go. How are they even getting up here? <laughs> Ooh, food. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they're actually climbing all over the ship. How? That? There actually was a lot of them. They're just gonna have to leave the Phantom? Thanks for saving me back there. Don't read too much into it, kid. Ah, oh, they're just picking up the Phantom. Yo, haven't you done enough, Sabine? <laughs> Jeez, she wants more. These poor aliens, all they wanted to do was lick their faces, I think. We won't always be fighting this battle alone. Do you think you can trust me? I think I can try. Very nice. I understand Sabine, but I also understand Hera and Kanan are going about this very smart. Because, yeah, the Inquisitors, the Sith, they could just rip knowledge, anything you know, right out of your head. We've seen it, and it is effective and scary. Also, we never even got to meet Fulcrum this episode, which also, I feel like I've heard Fulcrum so many times. It's a planet or something, I'm pretty sure, Fulcrum. At first, I thought it was funny because Sabine was just like, I'm going with you to meet Fulcrum, but I'm like, waves. Fulcrum's a planet, isn't it? But maybe it's not. I, I don't actually know. It's cool that we find out this episode that Sabine was actually in the Imperial Academy. I think, did she say it was back on Mandalore? But yeah, I guess she was in training at first and doing what they said without knowing what she's doing exactly is why she left them and joined Hera and Kanan and the Rebels. But she's kind of still doing the same thing, but knowing she's doing stuff for a better reason. I hope one day she'll be able to join Hera and Kanan in leadership, be able to have no secrets held from her, but I realize right now why they are doing it. And Hera made a very good point during this episode of why. But yeah, it would be cool to see eventually, like, her getting on the same level as Hera and Kanan and being able to strategize with them. Anyways, happy to see a little bit more of Hera and Sabine interacting. Also, just Hera in general. We don't really see much of her so far within the first, like, seven episodes. Even though we don't see much of her, I know she's putting in a lot of work. She's kind of, like, the MVP of the group. She holds the group together. She commands them. She flies them around without her... They wouldn't really be a crew and it's good to know now that she can actually fight as well she has a very tiny blaster though good seeing her on the front lines like we've seen everyone else but anyways that is going to be it for these two rebels episodes let me know if you enjoy the two episode format a little better definitely leave your comments down below on your thoughts on these two episodes definitely subscribe to the channel if you're looking forward to more rebels in the future and bad batch as well after season one is over but like on the video if you liked it dislike it if you dislike it Hit the join button if you want to watch the next two episodes that are up right now for members. And that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon.